temperatures can definitely freeze everything. Oh, yeah. and retention ponds are a common and generally attractive mm -hmm. feature in most subdivisions in the Treasure Valley, but this time of year, of course, because of the freezing temperatures, they can be very dangerous. They certainly can. The uh, thin ice is forming, of course, and the risk is always there that someone could fall through. And that's one of the reasons that the Eagle Fire Department is practicing ice rescues. And they contacted Fox 9 on your side exclu exclusively to participate in the training and show you what to do when the ice cracks. So, Jack, we are to remind you, one size fits all. So Idaho on your side recruited a production staff if member. You lean down and push your hands in. To don a Coast Guard ice suit. I now stand up. I guess you clicked in here. Walk out on the ice and play the victim. All right, here we go. Rescue. You've probably got five minutes before you're not going to be able to reach and grab and hold on to a rope okay. or a, a broom handle. The Eagle Fire Department is training in the wake of a number of high-profile ice rescues and drownings nationwide. You know, we live in a northern climate. Uh, our water sources freeze over. Uh, we have to be well-trained at this. If, if you just have the equipment, you're not practicing, you're not getting better. We try to utilize both aspects to improve our ability to help you, the public. If you're wondering where the concern is, it's not just the Boise River. It's right behind me in the retention ponds that are all over the Treasure Valley. This one is covered with snow. You wouldn't even know it's there because there aren't any signs that say thin ice. And kids walk by here every day to and from school. So what do you do if you fall in? Best you can, try to remain, remain calm. Try to get into a tuck position and hold on to the side of the ice. Uh, yell for help best you can. Two, three, go! Then wait for rescue to arrive. There's no reliable way to tell if ice is thick enough, so the experts say the best advice is to stay off it completely. Well, if you see someone fall through the ice, first thing, you need to calm the victim down because panic really does kill. Then call for help, 911, and then try to find a long stick or rope to pull the victim out, but at all costs, stay off the ice yourself yeah. and if you fall through the ice turn around and try to climb out the way you went in you know why no, no I... because it, it's the thickest ice that's out there when you think about it as you step forward right. the last step you took was probably the thickest ice right. that could support your weight and then you went in so go out the way you went I in. I wouldn't have done that. 